Hi guys, it's Baldrick here. In today's episode, I'd like to talk to you about my thoughts of the Titanfall 4 release. Unfortunately, uh, where I bought Titanfall from, they haven't uh, emailed me my game code yet, so that's why I'm still having to show some beta gameplay, which really does frustrate me a bit, but I guess I'll have to wait, otherwise, if it doesn't come, I'm never going to buy from that website again, and definitely even if it comes, I'm never going to pre-order off it, because the point of a pre-order is to actually get the game when it releases. So, it, it it's really annoying. I, I would have been playing that game this weekend, but no, I have to play Battlefield. That's not a punishment, but I would rather be playing some Titanfall, something new. Ah, uh, what can you do? I'm using the overpowered uh, smart pistol to its full advantage here. But anyway, uh I think that Titanfall looks like a great game. I love how they've incorporated the campaign into the multiplayer, how you launch off. It it looks like it would make you feel like winning more. And I also love how when you lose, uh, you can get to the dropship and you can actually uh, get away. It makes you feel good. I've never personally done this, but it looks really awesome. Uh, also, I love the dynamic features, how some of the... I've seen some gameplay where like pterodactyls come down and they take all the enemy bot players, or not bot players, but all the AI players or whatever you want to call them. And it just adds to the feel of the future and it's really awesome how Titanfall isn't just based on Earth, it's based on many different other planets and I think that just makes it uh, really unique as all it looks like all of them feel the same. It would be awesome if it had, I guess less gravity in some planets, but what can you do guys, you can't really do much about that. I don't know, when I when I was recording this, I think I was live streaming as well, so that's why you might get the occasional frame rate drop, so I apologise for that. And yeah, it was pretty intense on my system when I was doing this. Uh, also, I plan to stream Titanfall when I get it, unless that's on a weekday, but I'm most likely to get it on a weekend, so hopefully I'll be live streaming that game for sure. I know my 720p qualities are not the best, but it's the best I can do with probably one of the best internet speeds in my town, or city I should say. It's not a town, it's a proper city. Uh, but yeah, I can't really do much better than that, guys, uh, unless I'm like going to pay for an entire server, which is probably not really worth it, unless you're like trying to host some organisation. And, yeah, I only live stream two times a week, so it's not worth it anyway. Uh, also, I think Titanfall could use a bit of a, uh, I don't know, a bit a bit of a nerf with some of the guns, especially the smart pistol. I can't believe they didn't nerf that. It's good gun, but I think it's a bit OP how you can just hang on the side of a building, wait for enemies to come and just pull the trigger and not even aim at them. That really would be frustrating if you're getting done like that all the time. Just just look at how easily it kills. It's no skill required whatsoever to aim. And especially with a PC with your uh with accurate mice, you don't even need the smart pistol with it. It's got enough damage as it is. I don't get what they're trying to do with this. It would be good in the campaign, but not in a multiplayer game. It's a bit too overpowered for my liking. Anyway guys, I know this was a bit of a short video, but I hope you enjoyed. I know I posted a video of Modern Warfare 2 on, I think, yeah, Saturday. So, I guess that was because it's not really a proper video. It's just a tutorial for the people who want to watch it. And I guess most of my subscribers, it wouldn't really apply to them. So, hope you enjoyed this video guys. See you later. Have a nice day.